Hello. In this video, I am going to explain a little bit about your kidney biopsy. A kidney biopsy, also called a renal biopsy, is a procedure used to get two to three small pieces of kidney tissue to look at under a microscope. There are a number of different reasons for getting a kidney biopsy. It is most commonly done to find the cause and severity of a kidney disorder, which can often help your doctor choose the best treatment. The procedure can provide valuable information about your kidney disorder that we cannot get from blood tests or imaging studies alone. The procedure will be performed while you are awake. First, you will be put in the appropriate position. When we biopsy your original kidney, we have you lay face down so we can access your kidney through your back. For a biopsy of a transplant kidney, we can access it from your abdomen, so you will lay face up. Once you are positioned, we will take pictures of the kidneys with an ultrasound machine to locate the best site to do the biopsy. After the site is chosen, the area of skin of the biopsy site will be cleaned thoroughly with a cleaning solution. Next, you will be given a numbing medicine in the same area to minimize pain when the biopsy needle is inserted. Once you have been given enough numbing medicine, the clinician will insert the biopsy needle to take a sample of tissue from the kidney. We aim for two to three samples of kidney tissue, which can require up to five passes with the biopsy needle. Serious complications of kidney biopsies are not common, and that is why we can do the procedure as an outpatient, meaning you can go home the same day as the procedure. However, there are a few risks to the procedure that you should know about. Bleeding. About 4 in 100 people who have a kidney biopsy will have blood from the biopsy site leak into their urine. This may cause your urine to turn bright red or brown. This blood is temporary and usually goes away on its own in a few days. 1 in 100 people may need to have their bladder flushed out with sterile water to help clear the blood. This is done by placing a catheter into your bladder. Less than 1 in 100 people who get a kidney biopsy may need a blood transfusion to replace blood lost from the procedure. About 1 in 180 people who get a kidney biopsy may need another procedure that involves the placement of a catheter into a blood vessel in order to reach the kidney and stop the bleeding. Lastly. Less than 1 in 1,000 may need a surgery to remove the kidney in order to stop the bleeding. Pain. The most common complication of a kidney biopsy is pain. You may be given medication to reduce pain after the procedure, and it usually goes away within a few hours to days. The procedure also carries the risk of infection, which happens in about 1 in 500 cases. These infections can be treated with antibiotics. Death can occur after a kidney biopsy, although it is reported in less than 1 in 10,000 patients who get a kidney biopsy, and these patients are usually critically ill prior to their biopsy procedure.